people really don't, and I'm not saying everybody, but people really don't like giving compliments to people that they're threatened by. People don't like giving, <laughs> oh, that was heavy right there. I'm just people saying. don't like giving compliments to people that they feel threatened by. Or they'll be backhanded compliments. Yeah. Meant to Which hurt is, you. Exactly. Yep. No. Yeah. That's that's a bad one. Um, but yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, you you know, uh, you're not stuck unless you stop kind of thing. So it's okay to feel this. Disp- and, and that's, um, I don't want to give too much away, but the message that we got on the church page, that was the sad situation. And mm. they felt um, they had something happen to a family member that passed away. And... Um, and I've, I've mentioned it before that I've talked with somebody and they're almost like afraid to get real with God. They're afraid to pour everything out. And I think that's the, like, that's the thing they think, you know, like, oh, I can't talk to God. And it's like, he already but knows he, he everything. Already knows. Exactly. He so knows what you're of... going to say, how you're feeling and everything. He just wants you to bring yeah. it to him. And that's what some, something I realized when I was responding to them. I was like, you know, like we were okay with opening up to each other. Like I'm. You're okay with Super cussing at somebody at on the internet. Yeah, and, and all this, them but then like, dumb, oh, I can't bring can. this to God. Like, yeah. no, he wants you to get real with him. And yeah. I, and that's one of the things I told him. I was like, you look at the Psalms. David, all the time when he was going through something, he's like, you know, like, this is terrible. I feel like I'm dying. Yada, yada. It was just like all this bad stuff. And it's like, if, if we weren't uh, supposed to feel that kind of way, like you were saying, we wouldn't have been given that emotion. And God... The Bible being... Uh, but that doesn't give you an excuse it, to be willy-nilly. Well, exactly. And just run around and be like, I'm just naturally an angry person. Well, no, God that's gave different. me anger, so no. I can punch you in the face. That's toxic. Yes. But <laughs> if, if it's in the Bible, it's there for a reason. Everything that's in the Bible is there for a reason. And the fact that God left in these Psalms that David wrote in his darkest moments of how he felt, but then still knowing and trusting God that that's God would deliver him. And then... Knowing that David was a man after God's own heart, you know, we see that Jesus felt anxiety and anguish toward going towards the cross. He he felt grief over the loss of Lazarus. You know, Jesus wept the shortest uh, verse in the Bible. Like he went through range every of range of emotions that we have. He went through the Bible says, you know, that he was tested in everything like we are tested and he overcame it so that we can too. And it's just, that's the thing. Like it's okay to feel something. It's, it's just not okay to stay there. Yeah. It's okay to be there for a moment, but God wants you to move past that. 